Howdy folks, it's Amy from Amygdala Vids. Now, Stoicism seems to have exploded in popularity as of late, with many past books being revisited and many new books being written. I mean, check it out, the Stoicism subreddit has over 350,000 members. It's crazy how an ancient philosophy has grown this fast in popularity. I'm sure the Epicureans must also be experiencing similar growth. Oh. But growth and popularity does not mean something's right. That's just a bandwagon fallacy. I mean, Scientology has a bunch of members, but that doesn't mean, um, it doesn't mean that they're wrong. All hail Xenu, all hail Xenu. So I want to explore the question of whether or not Stoicism is unrealistic. But since Stoicism has a lot of different ideas in it, I think it'd be pretty helpful to specify what we're questioning. I want to question the stoic idea that you're able to have control over your mind and your emotions when you come into contact with hardships. Now there's a lot of quotes out there that could highlight this in stoic philosophy, and I've read from the Enchiridion twice on this channel, so I'll choose something new, something more poetic. This is from Epictetus' Discourses, Book 1, Chapter 24, Section 1. The true man is revealed in difficult times. So when trouble comes, think of yourself as a wrestler whom God, like a trainer, has paired with a tough young buck. For what purpose? To turn you into Olympic class material. But this is gonna take some sweat to accomplish. From any perspective, no one's difficulties ever gave him a better test than yours, if you are prepared to make use of them the way a wrestler makes use of an opponent in peak condition. So here's the question. Are we really able to change our thinking towards hardships to overcome them? Or is that just being unrealistic? I imagine someone being like, Hey Epictetus, you suck. And Epictetus responds, Hey, I recognize that you're trying to hurt me, but I choose not to give your insult any power. Do you think life works like that? Or does life work more like Epictetus? More like Epic Penis? Oh, that crosses the line. In all seriousness though, life can throw some hardships at us. Is it really a realistic approach to just change the way you think about an issue? I would argue that is realistic, but instead of pointing to a quote from either Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, or Seneca, what if we instead looked at their lives and how they used Stoicism? After all, we might as well ask these guys to put their money where their mouth is and show us how Stoicism works. Let's start with Seneca. He was a tutor to Emperor Nero, who was just the biggest douche from what I could tell. He's the type of asshole who'd steal some of your fries at McDonald's, but then get mad at you for trying to take some of his food. So Seneca was accused of trying to assassinate Nero, and Nero forced him to commit suicide as a result. But this suicide wasn't just like when Socrates drank hemlock, no. Seneca started his suicide by slicing open many of his veins to bleed out. But this wasn't going fast enough, so he drank poison. But that didn't help much, so he went into a bath and bled out there. Based on the accounts, he maintained that stoic attitude throughout. What a fucking savage. It reminds me of that guy in the Crucible who was being killed by people placing stones on him, and he simply said, more weight. So that's Seneca showing us how stoicism helped him. What about Marcus Aurelius, known as the last of the five good emperors of Rome? I think we should consider the amount of responsibility placed on a Roman emperor in this case. I mean, you're responsible for so, so many people. Hell, I can't even keep a plant alive, and this guy was able to rule one of the largest empires in all of history. Stoicism must have helped him in this practice, as shown in his meditations. And finally, last but not least, our boy himself, Epictetus. Well, Epictetus was born into probably the worst life one could be born into, a life of slavery. Although I couldn't find much about the specifics of this light, I mean come on, it's slavery. It ain't sunshine and rainbows. So yeah, sometimes when I wonder if Stoicism is really a realistic way to live for me, I think back to the lives of these philosophers and realize that they got through life using their philosophy under much worse conditions than I would ever think about. The last issue I want to posit is the issue of mental health. Some of us are diagnosed with certain mental conditions that are just out of our control. Is it contrary to the Stoic idea of controlling your mind and your emotions? Let me know what you think about this issue below. Overall though, I think Stoicism has stood the test of time as an effective way to deal with the hardships of life, and it's no surprise that it's gaining in popularity. 
Thanks for watching, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more philosophy content.